St Johnston feels like the place where the title was won and lost this season between Celtic and Rangers. Obviously there's still a little bit of time to go but it was the place where Celtic conceded a 93rd minute goal then by the 95th minute Giacomakis went up the other end and scored to win for Celtic. It was also one of Giovanni Van Bronckhorst's last games as Rangers lost at St Johnston to give Celtic a lot of breathing space at the top of the league. Today we'll be watching St Johnston versus Celtic again. Obviously the teams in the Premiership play each other a lot it's a small league so you're going to play the same teams fairly often but I'm really looking forward to seeing Celtic play on the road again they have a fantastic traveling support and they have been phenomenal on the pitch this season St Johnston on the other hand always really great with me always an amazing club with some fantastic fans and some great people working there so let's get up on the road it's early it's a 12 o'clock kickoff so we've got to leave in the morning it is an early one as you may be able to hear in my voice so please hit that like button subscribe if you're new and let's go to Perth. I've spoken a lot about the health benefits of Y food before, but today it is my time saving device. This is my breakfast for the morning. It is the fresh berry, ready to drink, complete meal. I've had a long couple of days this weekend from um, my video on Friday, yesterday, Saturday, the non league Rangers, to now um, where I'm gonna be going to a midday kickoff. Honestly, I am so busy, I'm rushed off my feet. Um, but yeah, I don't even have to think about eating. The amount of times I've done this kind of weekend where I've just got game, 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 and I don't even eat for hours and hours, and I realize at like three o'clock I'm not eating, happens all the time. Or well, it used to happen until Y Food really started to support my channel. So yeah, a massive thank you, Y Food. I'll leave their information below um, in a pinned comment and the top link in the description box. Do use the discount code on screen as well to get 10% off for you. They've really helped me and they could help you too. Here we are back in Perth and back at McDermott Park, St Johnston. There's the Ormond stand and the main stand just around there. Um, yeah, really, really cool club. I always love to come here. Been here quite a few times now in the first game. I always think back to was the Galatasaray one and then last a week or two later um, in the Europa League and then the Conference League. But yeah, St Johnston have always been good to me since like fans came back and um, they've sort of invited me down to games and stuff. So as per usual, I'll include a link to their Saints TV below. Um, so yeah, do go check them out. All these clubs are always posting content on their own sort of platforms and stuff. So do make sure if you're a Saints fan or a fan of Scottish football that you check out Saints TV. We got two fans here. You're a Saints fan, you're a Celtic fan. Firstly, I'll start with you. Yep. How easy has it been for Celtic this year? Uh, I think Ange has done really well with the squad. Um, with Janovic departing in January, I think. It's been very good. Um, good while well, so Johnston coming in. I think we're done well. I think the league's kind of over now. Yep, I think so as well. It was here when you won that game earlier this season in the 95th minute. Um, and yourself then, St Johnston fan. Um, how do you think the season's gone for you guys? I think you're seventh right now, which is probably yeah, where um, I guess you should be. Maybe. I know. I think I think we're just going to stay seven. I don't think we're going to go up. We've been playing bad since the start of this year. Come back with a 2 0 win, so I think that's yep. good. And so, score prediction for today. Yeah. Are you confident you can get anything? 3 1. 3 1 2. Uh -huh. To Celtic. Yeah. Who signed this? Um, Max and Jamie Murphy. Oh, nice. So, who's your favourite Saints player then? Liam Gordon. Okay, nice. And um, are you confident that Saints will get anything from today? Yeah. Score? 2 1 Saints. Nice one, mate. Enjoy. So just up there is where the ultras sit for St Johnston, Fair City Unity. I think they always bring a great atmosphere, especially in the bigger games. They were amazing in the um, Inverness playoff last year in the relegation playoff to stay in this league. Um, Inverness, incidentally, haven't had the greatest of seasons this season and so St Johnston stayed in the league because of that game. They were amazing that day and the European games that I mentioned, but yeah, always enjoy coming here. How are you doing? How 
you've been on the videos before, right? Yeah. Which one was it? Livingston. Yeah. Okay, cool. And so you're a big Celtic fan? Yeah. How do you think today will go for you? I think we'll win two or three now. Two or three now. And mm. what players are you looking forward to seeing here? Kyogo. Kyogo. He's the main man, isn't he? Mate, yeah. enjoy. Sit. I am with? Archie. Curtis. Two big Celtic fans, as yeah. I can see. How would you say the season's gone for you boys? Very, very good. Very, very Is it enjoyable good. watching Celtic just now? Yeah, they yes. play good attacking football as well. Who's yeah. your favourite player to watch then? Uh, Kyogo or Jota. Abada. And Abada, okay, cool, yeah. And confident today, what do you reckon the score will be? 3 0 Celtic. And? 3 0 Celtic as well. Ultras, Ultras Perth, Fair City Unity, absolutely love those guys and then here we have the Celtic fans as well, the Green Brigade and the boys, two sets of Ultras right next to each other today and the other stand over there, Celtic fans, I imagine there's a lot of Celtic fans who have come into the home end as well and even look, they get this section here too, so always a great game here whenever the old firm teams come to St Johnston and we are about to kick off. Amazing atmosphere in here again, as it always is in Perth. Oh, and St Johnston will get the ball in the box. Good start from St Johnston, but the Celtic fans making a lot of noise, as you can hear. And we even said hello to Callum McGregor for the game. Did you see that? How good was that? We said hello to a few big names now, and Callum McGregor's another one. So that was good, but sensational up to a really nice day here too. Celtic are looking to go nine points clear again if they were to win today. Kyogo, I think. Yeah, it looks like it was Kyogo. I think Hatati was in the net. There was a few lining up to tap it in, but look at that. 13 minutes in, Celtic 1 0 up. Could this one be a route? I know it was the last one against St Johnson that was a little bit tighter, but the Celtic fans will be happy with that. Despite going 1 0 down, the Saints flag is still flying. So it actually went down as an Andrew Considine in goal. As you can see, he must have just got the final touch as it went in. And interestingly, as you'll see from the stats, look, St Johnston have had one shot to Celtic's none, but Celtic are winning 1 0. Work that out. strike from Kyogo. I reckon Barrel looked at it. There was a hint of offside in the build-up with Jota. They find this league so easy, don't they, Celtic? I say it every time. A bit of an embarrassment to Richards. The amount of players they've got on the bench, plus the first 11. I mean, they can just win this league at a canter the way the squad is right now. Kyogo is amazing, honestly. I think he's such a fantastic striker. I think Barrel must be looking at it. We shall see. They must be looking at it. Still looking. Rest touching his ear again. St Johnston have one back here. Always an incredible game between these two. And Saints have their goal. What a strike. There was number 14, Dre right with the goal. The Saints are 
fans loving it and they're back in the game. 2-1 after 25 minutes in. Machine just now, it's 3 1 Celtic here. Great finish. Saints 1, Celtic 3. So the second half has, uh, has begun here, the game has resumed, and I wonder how the second half will pan out. Will it be an exciting half of goals like the first was, or will it be quite a boring subdued game because obviously Celtic are ahead and they can just conserve their energy? Um, we went to Dundee United obviously the previous week, it was like that there, the last 15 20 minutes were so boring. They were two up and then. Um, stayed that way and they were just playing it around um, and I feel like they were 3-0 up against Livingston at home recently as well I didn't see that game but there was no goals in the second half so will they go for it maybe maybe not um, let's hope for an exciting second half anyway 10-3 St John's that's going to be a big comeback 7-3 seven, seven, St John's 7-3 St John's 6-3 St John's we meet again bye Back again, Sam. Back same again, for the again. Same fixture. Same yeah, so people may recognise you from the last St Johnson Celtic game. How do you think Celtic have played this season? Uh, Celtic have been fantastic this season, all season long. And I think that kind of. It's, it's become almost a bit of a, a cliche, but the, the we never stop from that. It's yeah. just, they're relentless every game. Do you um, think they're the fittest squad and the best squad in the league? Oh, absolutely. And I, and I think that when you've got the resources that Celtic do, it's difficult not to be uh, the, definitely the fittest, if not the best. Yeah. Um, I think they've got more quality than, than every other team in the league in all areas. And, and yeah, the, the, you look at the bench. We said it before this game. Yeah. The I bench. always say it, and I find they just seem to find it so easy in these games, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And we were talking about just a couple of minutes ago when uh, when they played Dundee United in the second half last yeah, yeah, yeah. You can almost switch off in the second half because they've got games done, done dead and buried. Uh, I love coming to watch Celtic play. I think they're a fantastic side, a, a joy to watch. But um, let's hope the second half's not as boring as what it was last Sunday. Yes. Sam, we'll need yeah. a few more goals. Eh? the face of the Watson Saints. Celtic have had the ball up there a lot but haven't really created any clear cut chances. We've got 10 minutes left here. I actually can't believe this happened again. Happened yesterday. 3 2 at half time at Canvas Lang Rangers and it ended 3 2. 3 1 at half time here. Feels like it probably will end 3 1. I'm a bit of a curse, a bit of a jinx when I say things like that but um, honestly. Second half has been a canter for Celtic, really. Is that a red? A late red card for St Johnston. We're into um, stoppage time now. A lot of people are beginning to leave, um, but yeah, it's so, such a dull second half, as we've seen a lot of lately on this channel. Um, but Celtic, I think it's a free kick on the edge of the box. Do you know who was sent off? Could be Alex Mitchell. It's not been confirmed yet in the stadium, but O was through, one and one, scored his first Celtic goal, and uh, he was taken down edge of the box, last man. Considine. So an own goal and a red card today for Considine. Yeah. Not a great day for him. It's Considine who's been sent off. Yeah. 4-1. Who do you support? Celtic. You're a Celtic fan, but look at this. I played for six. What do you think of the game? Brilliant. You're happy. What do you reckon? All right. You're a St Johnston fan. I'm who's your, who's your favourite player? There you go, cheers mate, cheers. Who are we giving a shout out to? Saints 2013. Is that you boys? You're playing yeah. St Johnson, yeah? yeah? You're the future stars of St Johnson yeah. Football Club, yeah? Nice one boys. Very good. 
What have you thought of the game? It was alright. It was alright, shame for Saints, but yeah. I think we're waiting for VAR. They could have been an offside. Yeah, yeah what do you think of the game? It was alright, and so what position do you play for Saints? Um, centre mid. Centre mid. So you're going to be the next star of St. Johnson, yeah? Yeah. Nice one, mate. Good to meet you, boys. I'll be the next Stevie May. The next, next Stevie May, you heard it here first. I'd be interested to hear what you guys think in the comment section below about how easy Celtic find these games. Is the Scottish Premiership and the Scottish League system just too easy for Celtic now? After Rangers being out of the divisions for so long, they've been able to just be the top dogs for like 10, 15 years. They've got the money, the European money, the player sales. Like they sold Juranovic for 10 million. They bought like four new players in January, all for the price of Juranovic, who, if they do well, they'll sell them for a profit as well in the future. So what can Scottish clubs do just to try and bridge the gap? I'm not saying they need to go and win the league, St. Johnston and stuff, but so many games I've seen this season where Celtic are winning at half time or winning by 60 minutes and the rest of the game is then passing it about a bit of a canter so yeah let me know in the comments what you think can be done by the other clubs to sort of try and be a bit more competitive and if you ever think that Celtic won't win the league again it's just looking so so easy for them at the moment like I keep saying so yeah do remember to hit that like button and please do check out today's sponsor Y Food if you're trying to save a bit of time save yourself a bit of money as well by buying food when you're out and about then um, get some Y Food it's really healthy good stuff as well I've been really enjoying it this season um, so a huge thank you to them for supporting me on my travels. I'm going to shoot off and try and get the rest of this one edited. Did a bit of editing at St. Johnston. Great club, as ever. Go check them out. If you're ever in Perth, if you're ever coming to Scotland, make sure they're one of the teams that you see. If you're a ground hopper like me, it's a great ground to go to. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.